Hey, what is going on, tech friends? Welcome back to another episode. And so in today's episode, what we will be doing is making an updated video on how to install Yosemite Beta onto your Hackintosh. And so, uh, as you probably have heard of uh, the other day, Apple has released, released the Beta Seed for Yosemite. So that's pretty good, and instead of us having to pay $100 for Apple's little developer uh, fee, we can just get it for free now, so that's pretty cool. We don't need to be buying all that stuff to, you know, get the beta for half the year. So basically, what we will be doing is uh, making a USB installer for this Yosemite beta. Let's get started. All right. So what will we be needing for this video to continue? We will be needing three things: MacPone for Yosemite Developer Preview and also the install OS X public beta seed installers that you can find on Apple's website and they'll give you a code or they'll send you a code that you can later redeem in the App Store. I'll leave a link in the description and then also you're gonna need a USB device, 8 gigabytes or more. You might get away with 7 but I'm just gonna be using 8 just in case. So let's get started with the rest. Alrighty then, now that we have everything that we need, we need to go into the Applications folder and then open it up. And I'll drag in, to, uh, I'll drag in my installer. But we need to rename the installer before I close out of that window. We need to rename it to Install OS X 10.10 .10 Developer Preview. And if you do not do that, then MacPone will be like, Hey, I can't find it. So you want to make sure that it's, you know, checked and everything. Or you want to make sure that it's uh, renamed. Other than that, open up MacPone, press on continue. Also, you can see that my USB is all formatted. I will leave a little uh, annotation right up here. Right, yep, hold on, there we go. An annotation right there saying how to format it. And now, uh, how do we, you know, set this thing up? We need to just press on continue and change the install location to the USB. And then press on customize. And you wanna have advanced installation checked. Also, for bootloader, uncheck Clover, unless you use Clover. You want to have Chameleon checked, because Chameleon is just so much easier. Well, well, it's just a lot easier for me. And now, underneath uh, Chameleon configuration, you want to open that up. And then if you need any of those uh, boot flags, then just check them. And then I'm installing on a desktop or a laptop, which I am installing on a desktop, then check desktop you know, and if you're doing a laptop, then well, check laptop. Okay, I don't know why you'd check uh, desktop. Now, for the uh, graphics, if you do not know if it's supported, then well, check it. And if it is supported, then uncheck it. So now for MBR support, if you are installing this onto a hard drive that has Windows installed on it, then you want to check on uh, for the DP3. Now, over for kernel, you want to check on DP3 so it can boot properly. Alright, now if you have any custom kecks that you need for your computer to work properly with Mac, then make sure that you follow the instructions down below, and not in the description, right under here, okay, underneath my mouse. Now, uh, and then also check that, and then once we have all of this done, you can just press on continue, and type on your password, or type in your password, and just let it go. And I will be right back with it being done, just like that, I guess. Now that everything is done, we're going to close right out of it. And all we have to do is restart the computer. It's pretty simple, you know, just restart the computer. And then we're going to be installing Yosemite. Now I will be showing you that right after this. All you have to do is go into your boot menu now, since you have restarted your computer and then go down to the non-UEFI version of your flash drive and if you do not see UEFI then you should be okay. Just press onto your flash drive, let it load, and there it goes, and just press enter. Simple as that. And it should still start up anyways, just like that. And there you go, you have just booted on to the installer. So just let it load up, and we'll continue. Alright, so now that you've uh, went on to your USB installer, you want to select your language. If it's English, then it's English. And then you come here. 
so sweet we just got into the installer and it matches my resolution so it looks like my graphics card is supported and plus I already know it is and also um, if you're going to be installing this onto a separate partition then you need to follow uh, this step that I'm going to be showing you uh, other than that if you're just going to be installing onto your main partition make sure that you back up first and then uh, follow me after this alright so if you're going to be installing onto another partition you want to press on utilities and disk utility whenever you come in here once it loads up you would select your drive so let's just say I'm going to be selecting my SSD you press on partition and then you press a little plus sign right there and then you can size it or you can type in how much gigabytes you want it to be and then name it whatever you want but I'm not going to be doing that so I'm just going to press X on that, or close out of it. Alright, now if you are going to be just installing it onto your main partition, then just press continue. You don't have to do any of that. Press continue again. Agree. And then find your solid state drive, or just your hard drive in general, or whatever you use, your storage device. That's a good uh, word. And then press on to customize. And as you can see, this does not look normal for any other... Uh, Mac installer so if you're going to be installing onto a real Mac then you shouldn't see this at all so uh, first things first you want to have all three or yeah all three of these uncheck Clover check on to Chameleon make sure that you have selected onto a desktop uncheck that and you want to uncheck both of these unless uh, you have uh, a strange network driver then you would probably want that and other than that you want to have final steps enabled and just press on accept and press on continue alright so now it has gave me an error an undefined error zero okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tell it to restart and see what happens alright so I'm going to be booting onto the non new EFI version of my SSD and uh, see if it self-destructs. So, there's two of them. Okay, I'm just going to press center on one of them. See what happens. Oh, right. Okay, is that, so that's a good sign. Very, very good sign. Uh, that's booting properly. Okay, that's normal. Oh my god, that's awesome. And does it work or is it going to brain fart out on me? Oh, that's cool. I like it. I like it. Okay, so now it wants me to sign into my iCloud because it wants to make sure that it's me, I guess. So, oh, put down my iPad. I was doing stuff, so my iPad. Okay, so it wants me to log in. So I'm just going to log in. It looks like it's going to work. And allow to find my Mac. Yeah, that's totally going to work. Agree. Agree. Upgrade to iCloud Drive. Okay. So this is your documents. You can upgrade to iCloud. Hold on. If you need to continue using older versions of OS X or iOS to access your uh, iCloud documents or data, you can upgrade to iCloud Drive later, but changes you make from older versions will not be available on this Mac. Um, not now. Next. I don't know what I just pressed. I, I think I pressed too much, too fast. Okay. It apparently worked. Yes. Sweet. Sweetness. And everything is going off. Alrighty then. Well, this is really cool. I'm really surprised that this worked. And it was very simple to do, and it really had no glitches in it, rather than at the very end, whenever it was about to restart. But other than that, you know, this has been working so good, and, you know, uh, I'm doing a voiceover right now. This is uh, about two days after I installed it, and so far, so good, and just, it's been so stable, and everything is working really good. Uh, I had to upgrade uh, Final Cut Pro, but other than that, it has been working so good. 
Uh, if you've been having any problems, please let me know in the comments below. I might be able to help you out. I don't know. We'll just have to find out. Um, make sure that you press that like button if you liked the video or if it even helped you out. Make sure that you press that subscribe button so you'll see videos just like this. Also, I'm thinking about installing iOS 8 Beta 4, whatever it is right now, onto my iPhone. Just because I want to try that new continuity feature onto uh, Yosemite. So, I'm going to be doing a few things like that. And hopefully you'll, you guys will see that if you subscribe. So yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. And, you know, press that subscribe button, and see ya!